It seems that the Liberal Party here in Tasmania doesn't want Scott Morrison to come down to be a part of their campaign and I'm not surprised given the fact that he really hasn't been the leader Australia needs right now. He's cut JobKeeper at a time when thousands of Tasmanian workers were still reliant on that payment, thousands of Tasmanian businesses still reliant on that payment. Job seekers come out of the economy which means that there are people who are no longer uh, living with a living wage. 7,000 families plunged into poverty with that cut to job seeker that Scott Morrison uh, pursued. And he's been cheered along by Peter Gutwin the whole time. Peter Gutwin's never once stood up to Canberra and to Scott Morrison to argue on behalf of Tasmanian families and workers for the maintenance of those important programs that support our economy. I've met you before, nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, well, we've been very clear that we will take public health advice because that's the most important thing that any leader can do is to listen to the evidence that's provided by the medical experts about what we need to do to keep Tasmanians safe. That has to be our number one priority. Uh, we've released a comprehensive package of support for our tourism sector because we know what a key driver it is for our economy and it employs so many people across the state. At the end of the day, they too understand that we need to make sure we keep Tasmanians safe because that's the best way to keep our economy going. Well, any decision that's taken by any political party should really be informed by public health advice because they are the experts who are assessing whether or not there is a risk for the virus to re-emerge here in Tasmania or Australia. And we have to take their advice seriously. We can't be making decisions on the fly about what we think might be in their best interest because at the end of the day, the responsibility is to protect our country and particularly Tasmania from any risk that comes from a virus coming from overseas. Now, Tasmania has managed this quite well. We've had hotspot arrangements with other states so that we aren't shutting borders to entire states. We've actually addressed this in a much more sophisticated sophisticated way, particularly looking at our local government areas, which has meant that tourism operators have still been able to uh, undertake what they do quite well with the confidence that they're not going to be significantly impacted when there are outbreaks in other states. Liberals have today announced um, they'll secure funding for Dark Mofo, Festivali, um, Targa and other major events. Um, is Labor planning a similar announcement? Yeah. Well, I made an announcement on Saturday with Anthony Albanese, who was in Tasmania, unlike Scott Morrison, who doesn't seem to find us on a map, who uh, supported our tourism and hospitality and events package, which is a very comprehensive package, which does support the continuation of funding for those iconic events and festivals, which are really important, not just for how we feel about ourselves as a state and providing opportunities for people to enjoy Tasmanian culture, but are also an icon and a draw card to bring tourists to Tasmania. I've heard about it. Oh, well, I think that Felix Ellis is probably just desperate for relevance. Nobody really knows who he is. And now he's targeting um, people who are vegans. I mean, we've just had an event this morning with children who are eating fruit and vegetables, who arguably are the uh, target of Felix Ellis's offensive remarks because they didn't seem to have any problem with eating vegetables and fruit and enjoying themselves this morning. And I am very surprised that Felix Ellis feels that that's the only way he's going to gain relevance in this campaign is by attacking other people. Do you think it's sort of borderlines on, you know, almost bullying or troll behaviour? Well, Felix Ellis has a reputation for this and people might remember that he deeply offended the Aboriginal community in Tasmania when he uh, referred to a brick as being a significant uh, relic. Uh, I'm not surprised with his comments today. He's caused deep offence and hurt to people in the past and it seems to be the way that he does his politics and I think people should judge him for that harshly at the polling booth. Liberals have also announced a boost to advanced manufacturing in Tasmania. What do you think needs to be done for the industry? Yeah. So we'll be making announcements about our advanced manufacturing policy in the coming week. Anita Dow has been working very closely with the sector to understand how we can make sure we support innovation and drive job creation because this is something that Tasmania can be really proud of. We have some incredible 
manufacturers in this state who do provide jobs and also export that knowledge and that ex expertise to the rest of the world. Um, we want to continue to enhance Tasmania's reputation as a place to undertake advanced manufacturing and I look forward to releasing further details about our policy. Do you support calls from the Bob Brown Foundation to get a monitor bike and to be I didn't hear that, sorry. Um, do you support um, calls from the Bob Brown Foundation to better monitor bike activity in the Alpine climbing region following further allegations of quad biking in areas sacred to Tasmanian athletes? Bike activity, okay. Um, well, any of our parks and heritage areas where there are restrictions on access need to be appropriately monitored and enforcement needs to be a, you know, well resourced to ensure that we do protect those wilderness areas. If there are incursions that have happened on um, world heritage land or in our national parks then we should be following that up. But one of the challenges that our wonderful Parks and Wildlife Service has is that they haven't been resourced or staffed by this Liberal government who have cut the funding that they have available and has cut the ability for them to follow up on these types of concerns that are raised by the public. Um, that is something that has limited Tasmania's ability and our wonderful Parks and Wildlife Services ability to make sure that our parks and our natural uh, environment is protected and respected.